Hi all, welcome to Seek Precise, Film's current issues in short and ease. Today is 22nd October 2024. Let's look into the Film's article. The articles are Black Holes, Udan Scheme, Ramga Vishtari Tiger Reserve, Global Family Farming Forum and Baobab Trees. Let's look into the first article about Black Holes. So recently, Black Holes have been in news because a new uh, recent data from uh, Webb Space Telescope. The space the detailed article about James Webb Space Telescope is important. The recent data shows that the standard model prediction about uh, star formation was wrong. So here two terms are important: black holes and standard model. The article about James Webb is also important. Go and read about the telescope in detail. That can that was asked for you. Mains question in 2023. Okay, so here let's look into what black holes are. So, black holes are areas in space where the gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. So, you know, you might know the speed of light. Speed actually, uh, the light actually is the fastest uh, moving uh, waves in the universe or the electromagnetic waves are the fastest moving in the universe. They can move in space at a speed of 3 lakh, lakh kilometer per second. So even at that speed, the black hole uh, gravitational energy or the gra uh, gravity of the black hole will not allow the light at that speed uh, to escape the region, in, uh, escape the black hole region. Okay. So these kind of objects where the light, even the light cannot escape the gravity of the region uh, actually forms the black hole. So this was actually predicted by Einstein, the theory, general theory of relativity in 1915, actually. Okay, so talking about black hole, there are uh, certain terms that you should know about the black hole. So uh, there is a detailed article, other article that was uh, published in September 2023 about black hole here. So the link, the link article also you should go and check out because there are certain terms, uh, terms about the black hole, which are, which is actually important we will look into that as well so before that we have to know that there are uh, different forms of black hole different types of black hole so these black holes are divided into stellar mass black uh, black hole supermassive black hole intermediate mass black hole and primordial black holes so these black holes are divided into these four types of black hole based on their mass so the most massive out of all these four black holes is the supermassive black holes so these are essentially seen in the center of any galaxy so essentially our galaxy uh, actually the milky way has got a mm -hmm. supermassive black hole in the center so almost all the galaxies that we have found have, a, have got a supermassive black hole in the center so this supermassive black hole is actually not only a theoretical proposal this has been found out so understand that then stellar black hole is formed in a certain stage in the evolution of a star okay so this stellar mass black hole were the first to be identified in the uh, in the universe, and these two black holes, no, the stellar mass black hole and the supermassive black holes are the ones that have already been identified. The other two, the intermediate mass black hole and the primordial black holes, are the thing that are in theory. Okay, so these have not been identified in the universe. So understand that as well. So here, talking about the standard model, so essentially the recent findings of the Webb Space Telescope has uh, told the scientists what the data essentially uh, has uh, given us an idea that um, it actually, the, uh, what we thought about the universe uh, as predicted by the standard model is not the correct model so, uh, or the correct thing. So he, essentially, what the standard model predicted, the standard model actually is a Mm, model which in the cosmology which tries to explain the universe origin and evolution so understand that what standard model is it actually tries to predict the universe origin and evolution so according to the standard model so big bang occurred so big bang has occurred and after big bang what has happened and when has all this event of star formation and galaxy formation happened that is was the that is what the uh, standard model tries to predict. So according to the standard model, the first stars were formed around 100 to 200 million years after the Big Bang. And the first galaxies were formed within 1 billion years. 
So this is one thing. And the observations from James Webb Space Telescope, which was launched in uh, launched recently, has shown that the first black hole uh, were formed uh, during 400 to 650 million years after the Big Bang. So this is nearly half to the age of which was predicted by standard model of cosmology, which is 1 billion years. So note that JWST data uh, actually shows that massive well-developed galaxy uh, formation has happened uh, 400 to 650 million years after the Big Bang. So this is one thing. So JWST is a uh, satellite launched by NASA. A detailed article about James Webb Space Telescope is given in this uh, website itself. Go and check out the uh, article because this can be asked for your prelims. This has not been asked for uh, prelims. Uh, uh, and the data details about JWST has not been asked till now. It has been asked in the main section. Okay. So this is a detailed article about black hole. So let's check out a, a relevant article which was given earlier as well because here certain terms are also given. So understand that the term singularity, event horizon, accretion disk, relativistic jets and Schwarzschild radius are all terms related to black hole and black hole formation. Okay, so suppose uh, UPSC can ask a question like this. This term given here, the singularity, even horizon, accretion disk, relativistic jets, Schwarzschild radius are terms related to what? So that can be a question asked by UPS. Uh, ask. So you need not understand what all these terms are. Understand that these are terms related to black hole. Okay, so here is a picture of the first image that we have taken of a black hole. So this is the first image ever recorded of a black hole. This was taken by Event Horizon Telescope. So an article about Event Horizon Telescope is also given in our uh, given in the website. Go and check out that as well. Uh, so that's all about this article. Let's look into the next article about Udan scheme. So we are celebrating the eighth year of Udan. This Udan scheme, Uday Desh Kiam Nagari scheme, was launched in 2016 by the Ministry of Civil Aviation as a part of the National Civil Aviation Policy. Okay. So this duration of the scheme was envisaged for a year, uh, for 10 years. Now it's the eighth year going on. And it's a central sector scheme. That means the central government will be funding 100% of the scheme, 100% uh, of the scheme. And the implementation agency is Airport Authority of India. Currently, the fifth phase of the scheme is going on. So the purpose, as you uh, will be already knowing, is to develop un, uh, underserved and unserved regions of India to develop regional aviation market and provide connectivity and financial incentive to the underserved and un, unserved regions and airports of India. Okay, so suppose uh, suppose a underserved region uh, has some limitation in getting fund for a project to be started. But suppose that uh, if at all that project start, that can be viable financially. Still, that project is getting not getting fund. So that might be the problem of a uh, very regional airport, right? So for that, the mode of funding is actually uh, a viability gap funding mode. Okay. So one viability gap funding is essentially what I have told now. Because uh, some regions uh, or the viability uh, gap funding, the detailed article is given here. You can go and check out this article. So viability gap uh, funding essentially means that some projects can be uh, can be economically feasible, but it need not be getting finance. So government will be giving grant. Okay. So that grant will be provided here in in by forming a fund known as regional connectivity fund. So this is essentially a viability gap fund. Uh, the regional connectivity fund was created uh, exclusively for the Udan scheme here. So understand that as well. Go and check out what viability gap funding is and viability and different projects which are uh, funded through the viability gap fund or the grants uh, provided by the central government. Okay, go and check out that. Then uh, let's look into the key features of Udan 5.0. Here, in, in case of 5.0, the uh, airlines are required to cap airfares for 50% of their total seat at 2,500 per hour of flight. Uh, uh, okay. So, and viability gap fund uh, will be provided and will be capped at 600 kilometer stage length for both priority and non-priority area. So, 
the uh, other uh, details about udan 5.0 and also given here go and check out the details then you should know that there are various types of udan as well krishi udan lifeline udan international udan in terms of krishi udan uh, actually the farmers will be assisted by transporting agricultural product, uh, products across various regions in type in terms of lifeline udan essential medical cargo will be supplied so this was uh, during the covid uh, 19 uh, uh, time essentially uh, lifeline udan was implemented so essential lifeline medical cargo will be supplied to remote part of the country okay and international udan uh, is to connect india's smaller cities directly to key foreign destinations in the neighborhood so understand uh, go and check out this article in detail this can be asked for your mains as well so let's look into the next article next article is about ramga vishdari tiger reserve so recently uh, reintroduction program has been planned at ramga vishdari tiger reserve but uh, this has been hindered due to a tiger's death and a missing cub okay so understand uh, that ramga vishdari is one of the sites for reintroduction program of tiger so ramga vishdari is one of the tiger reserves in rajasthan this is this was recently announced as tiger reserve this was announced as the 52nd tiger reserve in the country in 2022 now there are 55 tiger reserves so in order uh, you should have an understanding about all the tiger reserves of the country the 54 tiger reserves and uh, the state wise you should be able to match them state wise as well so in order to uh, take the uh, in order to learn the tiger reserves and state uh, tiger service and state you go to download session from upsc atlas session you will uh, reach the page tiger reserves in india state wise map okay take this map so here understand that in rajasthan there are four tiger reserves mugundara ramgavishtari ranthambo and sariska so the details of all the tiger reserves the all the 55 tiger reserves state wise map is given here go and check out this map in detail because upsc can ask to match the tiger reserves and state okay so uh, talking about tiger reserves now uh, talking about ramga vishtari tiger reserve uh, it is located in rajasthan and buffer area of randambo tiger reserve and mugundara tiger reserves are included as a part of this tiger reserve and represent both vindian and aravalli elements of uh, at Aravalli mountain ranges as well. So, okay. And one of the major rivers flowing through this is a Medj River. So, Medj River is actually the left hand tributary of Chambal River. Okay. So, understand about Chambal River as well. Uh, uh, facts about Chambal River is given here because uh, recently in 2017, UPSC asked a question about gharials. If you want to see gharials in the natural habitat, which one of the following is the best place to visit? The answer for that question was. Chambal River. So understand that Chambal is located, uh, uh, is originating from the Indian region, Madhya Pradesh, and MDs to Yamuna in Uttar Pradesh. So you should know the main tributaries of Chambal as well. So the left bank tributaries include Banas and Mej, and the right bank tributaries include Parbadi, Kalizin, and Shipra. So the Mej River, the left bank tributary, left hand tributary of Chambal River is actually flowing through Ramba, Ramga, Vishdari tiger reserve of rajasthan so if you want to uh, look into the details about various tiger reserve that has been recently in use go into this environment menu and from the go to protected site and you can go check out this tiger reserve menu here all the recent tiger reserves which has appeared in the news are given in one page you can learn from here all the tiger reserves as well okay Next article is about Global Family Farming Forum. Recently, globally, uh, Global Family Farming Forum was launched at Food and Agriculture Organization's World Food Forum. So understand that this is an initiative or this was launched during a uh, Food and Agriculture uh, Organization's World Food Forum. Okay. So uh, this actually uh, celebrate the essential role of family farmers in building sustainable agri food systems. Okay. So this is basically uh, a forum for understanding the uh, role of family farmers so family farmers basically include uh, family farming basically uh, include agricultural forestry fisheries pastoral and 
aqua cultural production managed and operated by family relying predominantly on family labor so this is what family farming is the definition of family farming is it actually minimally include uh, uh, it minimally include the labor from outside the family as well as machinery so relying predominantly on family labor is the important point to note here so this was uh, recently launched in a food and agriculture organization world food forum and declared by un general assembly okay you should also note one point here because united nations uh, has actually previously uh, decided to celebrate in the decade 2019 to 2028 as the united nations decade of family farming so this actually essentially marks uh, 2014 essentially marks the halfway point of this decade so united nations decade of family farming also should be noted here when you talk about family farming so let's look into the next article next article is about baobab trees so baobab trees uh, have been in news uh, due to various reasons so uh, recently there was a new research which notes that baobabs have actually survived very extreme climatic fluctuation in the past years okay so here baobab trees this is the tree uh, that is shown here this is the baobab tree this is actually a deciduous tree is seen across various continents. This is predominantly seen in Africa, but it's not only seen in Africa. Understand that it's not only seen in Africa. So this is predominantly seen in Africa, mainly in one of the island country, the Madagascar. Uh, Madag it is predominantly seen in Madagascar. It's also seen across the globe. It's actually uh, seen in uh, Arabian Peninsula. It's seen in uh, Australia. It's seen in Caribbean. So it's also seen in India. So this is one of the main point so also found it's also seen in, in india mainly mandu in Madhya pradesh it's not a very common plant across the across the indian subcontinent it's uh, seen mainly abundantly in mandu region in Madhya pradesh so understand that this plant in Madhya pradesh is actually protected by the bill tribes there and the fruit of this plant is actually very nutritious and is one of the essential food of the bill tribe okay so previously madhya pradesh government has applied for geographical indication tag for the fruit of the baobab tree which is also known as karozani imli okay this is known as tree of life because you know you might have noted this uh, shape right this is actually a shape uh, of a bottle so this essentially stores water and this is actually stores plenty of water and that is why this is known as tree of life so that's all for today let's see tomorrow gogulam seek ias academy india's best civil service learning experience ottekku porudanda oppo njangal undu